911, what is the address to your emergency? By the Fourth Street Laundry Mat. What is it? Fourth, Fourth Street Laundry Mat. What's the problem? I've been exhausted. The 911 call is chilling. But you're at the laundry mat? No, I'm, I'm in the bedroom with them. You don't know what color the house is? No. Please hurry. A woman pleading for help. Her accused abductor sleeping in the same room. Does he have a weapon? He's got a taser. Are you injured? A little. Speaking in a whisper, the woman's fear is palpable. Is there any way you can get out of the building? I don't know without waking him and I'm scared. Is there a bathroom in the, the house? Well, his bedroom is closed and he made it so it would make noise. And if you told me you had to go to the bathroom, he would do something to you? Yeah, because he had me tied up. Are you tied up now? Well, I, yeah, but I kind of freed myself. The dispatcher encouraging the caller to stay on the line until police arrive at the abandoned house. Oh, s***, I woke him up. I just shut the phone down. Then, silence. Minutes pass as the woman waits desperately. Are you still there? I'm a smoker. What? I'm a smoker. Finally, officers arrive, and the caller works up the courage to leave the bedroom. Can you get out of the house? Locked. It's locked. Are you at the door? Yeah, I am. She's at the door. Is there a window there? Yeah, I'm looking out, and they come to come back. She said... To Hurry, hurry. She said to hurry up and come back. After some 20 minutes on the line, the woman is rescued. Come on out. Hurry up, hurry up. Get out of here. Where is he? Is that sleeping? Still sleeping? Yeah. Okay, they have her. Inside, police arrest 40-year-old Sean Great before finding two bodies, including the remains of Stacy Stanley, a grandmother who went missing last week. Great, also leading police to a third body in the rubble of a burned-out home nearby.